Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Now this video is going to be titled something like the sad truth or the sad part about breeding crested geckos. And unfortunately I have somewhat of another sad story for you today about one of the baby crested geckos that has hatched out here recently. Now I wanted to show you here is the clutch mate of this said gecko. And uh, you can see this one is perfectly healthy. Uh, nothing wrong with it. They had just hatched out a couple days ago on July 1st to be exact. And you can see growing quite well and is active and all that. Actually has kind of an interesting color for being from Autumn and King. King was from Pangaea Reptiles and Autumn was from the Urban Gecko in Canada. Yeah, all the other babies from this clutch or this pairing have been orange. And this one has more of a yellow tone to it. But it's only been a couple days so, you know, with the first shed, the second shed, it should start to color up a little bit more. But you can just see that it's a healthy baby and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's unlikely that the geckos from the urban gecko and Pangaea reptiles are related just because I know the urban gecko does breed their geckos in their facility which is in Canada and Pangaea reptiles is in Michigan but I think this is just one of those random things again and I think I've just had bad luck here with getting baby deformed crested geckos so I'm going to put this little guy away and I'll show you what is hatched out here so here I have the little deformed one you may not notice what is wrong with this one right off the bat but I'm going to have a picture on screen where you can see what this guy looked like coming directly out of the egg uh, and you know, just to show you that he can actually walk, I'm just going to give him a light little tap. And he can crawl too, he can crawl up stuff, he can walk fine. Uh, and you may not, you might be like, well what's wrong with this guy? And I didn't actually notice it at first until I went back and looked in the pictures of when he first hatched out. But if you can see, his back leg here on the other side, I'm going to try and flip him around, is actually facing the wrong direction. I'm not sure how that's possible, um, but you see the knee is like the wrong way. And he hatched out like this. This didn't happen outside of the egg. And this is going to just be a, obviously a pet only gecko for me for the time being. And, you know, I'm glad that he's still alive, but he's going to be a pet only gecko. You can see that his spine might be a little curved there by the tail where his bad leg is. Um, but the good part about this is compared to the conjoined twins is obviously one, he's alive and doing well. Two, he can walk and climb and actually he's quite fast. And he's feisty too sometimes. Let's see, I was just going to give him a little poke to see if he would climb. For the most part, he's been doing really well. And it'll just be interesting to see how this guy progresses into the future. And actually, I've noticed that his leg is getting better. I don't think it'll ever be straight and he'll be able to use it properly. But it is to the point where he can walk on that leg now. He wasn't putting it on the ground before. I'm just blocking him from coming out of the container. But he is starting to walk with it more, so that's good. And you know, there's a lot of pet crested geckos that I've seen available, not necessarily with like a bad leg like this, but like with spine issues or tail issues before, uh, specifically usually at the base of the tail, uh, the spine can sometimes get crooked. I've seen some of these for sale as pet only geckos. And I didn't see a reason to call this little baby just because he hatched out like this. If this would have hatched uh, differently and the bone was like exposed or something like that, then the smart thing to do would have been to call him. But you know, I think he's living a good life. I think he can live perfectly fine. He can crawl and walk and all this. But I just wanted to show you this today because I thought, one, it was pretty interesting, and two, if you're thinking about breeding crested geckos or already are, uh, this is something that can potentially happen to you. And I'm not sure if I'm just having bad luck here this first year or what, but uh, this is a little bit happier than the one a couple weeks ago. Anyway, if you guys have a good name for this guy, let me know down below in the comments because since he's going to be staying with me, I will name him right away. Um, but he's a cute little guy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.